So welcome back to the series of calculating the commodities. Uh, so before we start, please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe our channel to get to know more such knowledge about and such informative videos. Uh, so today we are going to understand the base metals margin requirement. What are the margin requirement and how base metal can be used uh, to start investing in commodities. Uh, so for aluminium, let's start with the first base metal, which is aluminium. The margin requirement is approximately 11% of the total contract value, uh, which approximately comes around 1 lakh 15 thousand for uh, to trade in one dollar of uh, aluminium. Now let's move to copper. So copper again, the margin requirement is 11% of the total contract value. The margin requirement to trade in uh, one lot of copper would be approximately two lakhs five thousand rupees. Uh, so now let's move to lead. So again, the margin requirement in percentage wise would be seven percent, approximately of the total contract value, uh, which would the total amount required would be sixty five thousand rupees to trade in one lot of lead. Now let's come to zinc. So the margin requirement is eleven percent of the total contract value, uh, which approximately comes around one lakh thirty thousand to trade in one lot of zinc. So this was the base metals. How you know in aluminium, copper, lead, and zinc, a client can trade, and the margin requirement. Now let's go in energy. So energy is uh, having a very good investment opportunity right now, trading patterns, uh, because it's giving a high fluctuation. So every day we can see a good movements in uh, crude oil and natural gas. Uh, so we'll talk about the margin requirement in crude oil. So crude oil, the margin requirements are high. It's thirty uh, percent of the total contract value. So it's somewhere. Around two lakh rupees to trade in crude oil, uh, but similarly we have a small lot of crude uh, crude which is called as crude mini. So here again the uh, margin requirement is thirty percent, but the margin requirement if I talk about the crude mini, it comes approximately twenty thousand rupees. So we can start with crude mini in case of not going with crude. So if you want to start with small amount of money, you can start with crude mini. Uh, now let's talk with about natural gas. Again the margin requirement is comparatively high in natural gas, which is approximately Maybe twenty-five percent of the total contract value, uh, which somewhere comes around fifty-seven thousand rupees, uh, approximately. Uh, but here again, we have natural gas mini to trade in. So again, the uh, margin requirement is somewhere around twenty-six percent to trade, and the margin which total contract if I talk about, it comes out approximately twelve and a half thousand rupees to trade in one lot of natural gas mini. So uh, crude mini and natural gas mini can be used uh, by the clients to trade in uh, energies. And it has it uh, it requires a very low margin and it gives good returns if I talk about both the energy. Uh, so this was all about commodities series of calculating the commodities. Uh, so if in case you have any doubts related to commodities, you can just write in the comment box and ask us any questions. Uh, we will be free to answer all your queries. Uh, thank you. We will be coming up with new series soon. So stay tuned to the channel and please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.